Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel for the newcomers, my name is Didi, in today's video, five amazing Bitcoin charts, yes, Bitcoin above 70k again, but what is next for Bitcoin, are we going to fall down or are we going to go even higher, I'm going to explain with beautiful charts, of course a trading tip, some travel advice, answering one of the questions of the followers, which was a really strange question, I didn't like the question, but I'm going to answer the question, and yes, talking about the news, because something really big is happening in the spot ETF world and I will show you exactly what it is in this video watch it till the end I hope you enjoy it already give it a thumbs up and let's jump into those charts Bam. the first chart for today guys of course the four hour chart as we always start in the four hour chart um, let me put my face somewhere in the place that is not disturbing the chart everywhere but this four hour chart guys look how beautifully again the buy thing i told you i took profit over here when the candles closed down below the yellow stepping line and it was a perfect moment to take profit because uh, this again is a beautiful signal to buy there will always be another trade beautiful candle close above the yellow stepping line buy signal we saw the green starting the green line was on top over here in the bottom you can see very clearly the green line is on top we can see the blue line above the white line so yes amazing buy signal again with some profits over there if you want to take them now i would not be taking them i would be waiting for a sell signal or a candle close again down below that yellow stepping line uh, yes we are following that green line i know you say always do you you're drawing with sloppy hands look how sloppy my hands were um, over here i drew this line over there on the 3rd of may i said okay let's see we go up and then we probably go down that green line and then we probably will retest this area of that dotted trend line that's coming down and then from there we will probably explode up to these levels of 71k um, very sloppy hands but look how we are beautifully following that sloppy hand green line over there guys yes sometimes you just need to be sloppy because you understand exactly what is going to happen <laughs> <laughs> so another beautiful buy signal guys and let's zoom out a little bit more to the day signal over here and um, the day chart is amazing look what we are doing at 71k of course there is some resistance in this area that it's expected because look we went over here and um, if i would draw a line example horizontal ray over here in this area we touched this area many times so yes we are fighting that now the moment we break that yes that's our gateway to 78 to 80k guys so yes i expect a lot of power to be breaking these levels uh, is needed but if we break it that would lead to 80k for the first time in bitcoin's history of course that would be amazing let's jump into some other charts guys to show you exactly what is happening in the bigger picture of bitcoin over here this is the first one this is the bitcoin exchange reserve um, on all exchanges what we can see here is that there is less and less bitcoins available on the exchanges we are looking at 2022 where in january where two 0.8 million bitcoins almost were still on the exchanges at the moment it's less than 2 million bitcoins 1.9 million bitcoins are left on the exchanges the rest is all in cold storage long-term storage hodl they don't want to sell yet and that's why they withdraw the bitcoins from the exchanges of course it's not like completely positive for the exchanges because uh, they lose liquidity like that and that is why they will probably pay you a little bit more now for the staking in usdt or btc or whatever on these exchanges because they want to have more bitcoins on these exchanges and they need to give a little bit to get more people to send their bitcoins there so also they need to win of course a lot of trust so buy bit by far the best exchange out there use the link down below uh, to sign up you can claim up uh, to a bonus of thirty thousand us dollar and really cool other stuff the second exchange that i really like is blowfin you will find the referral link down below as well also a bonus of 10 percent depending on how much you deposit but at the moment guys at blowfin you can win some extra prizes you can even win a rolex but you can see all the prizes that you can win in this screen over there now beautiful to see less and less bitcoins on the exchanges if you want to use an exchange use bybit blowfin or decentralized trading on apex pro that's my top three at the moment guys this chart guys is showing you the utxo realized price distribution autumn high partition btc we can see that a level of 66,900 
a shitload of volume is being created, which means this is becoming a very, very, very nice support level. We can also see all the surrounding areas around 68 to 63, 62, all a lot of volume this is creating a lot of support so there's a very important thing to understand where these peaks are there is a shitload of support the last peak that we saw like that was over here at 27,000. the time before that was at 16,000. the bottom this is the local bottom again from here we're going to build up higher and higher and higher and then of course the most important chart, the Bitcoin realized price at the moment, the light blue line is a five months realized price. That is the price that we mostly stay above during a bull market. You can see in this previous bull market 2017, every time these dots were above that light blue line. Also over here guys in 2020, 21, every time we were above that blue line, that light blue line with this red dots, we are again above that light blue line. Here we dipped a little bit below it and now we are above it again. We are above the Bitcoin realized price. We are above 70K and we're gonna go higher and higher and higher. This light blue line is gonna go up and up and up. The dark blue line is gonna go up and up and up and that black line is also gonna go up and up and up, just like we do every and each cycle. You should really understand this four year cycle that goes from the bottom to a top, to a bottom, to a top, to a bottom, to a top, to a bottom, and again to a top. And I was there already from here to guide you through these cycles and I will keep guiding you through these cycles. So yes, it's still a good moment to buy Bitcoin because in my honest opinion, we will still double from here. Amazing short-term volatility, guys. Yes, again, I told you to buy Bitcoin at 57K. We are at 70K. I told you at that time, before you know, boom, we will explode with a 20% jump and we are already up to 70K, guys. What is next for Bitcoin? I just showed you the short-term view and the long-term view. In the long-term view, we just zoom out. Look at that bigger picture. The next 12 months is gonna be bullish as fuck. We are gonna go up, 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 up. And yes, it will be emotional because we will go up and we will come down again and up and we'll down again up and come down again and every time when we come down you will be asking yourself is this the end is this the bull market top should i sell now or should i buy more stop asking yourself these questions there are a couple of indicators that we keep an eye on when those indicators start to flash that is when the bull market top is in and it will be around 17 months after the halving it will be in 2025 until that moment if you still don't own enough Bitcoins, you can still dollar cost average into Bitcoin at all these dips, guys, and take some profits over there, just like we are taking profits with the Bitcoin Family VIP group. If you want to join that one, go to thebitcoinfamily.com and sign up. Still $600 per year. It's nothing for a course, VIP signals, Telegram group where you can chat with VIP, same-minded people, uh, and much more, guys. It's even some pre-investment opportunities, etc. Now, let's quickly jump into the next part because there will be a part in this video where I show you another topic indicator. The trading tip for today, guys, is again about a bull market top indicator, an indicator that will help you to determine when the bull market top is in. Today, we're going to talk about the Gaussian channel and about the Puel multiple. I will show you a combination of those two beautiful indicators that will help you to determine uh, if the bull market top is in. Where do I do that? Behind my laptop. Bam. In today's trading tip, guys, I'm gonna analyze two more indicators to keep an eye on when it comes to uh, determining when the bull market top is in. The first one is this Gaussian channel, this Gaussian channel on a five-day chart. I've been talking about this Gaussian channel already for years. These, these drawings, they're already there for like a very long time. Every time when we were in this bear market bottom, for example, the, this last bear market bottom, I told you, you know, when we go into that Gaussian channel again, that is the moment when you should be in Bitcoin because we're leaving that bottom. And that's exactly what happened. Now, the other way around, it also works. The moment we enter it over there, the bull market is over. The moment we entered the Gaussian channel, the Gaussian channel over there, the bull market was over. The moment we entered the Gaussian channel, that bull market was over. So it's a very important indicator of course, that's not the top, but the moment that we go into that Gaussian channel, that's the confirmation that the top was in and that that bull market is over and that we need to wait all the way till we take a distance from that Gaussian channel to create a bottom. And then when we go in again, that is the confirmation, hey, that bull market is starting. So over, bottom, started again. Over, bottom, we're getting started again. Very simple. 
Now, the second indicator that I'm going to talk about today is the Powell multiple because it's very important. You also find that one uh, in TradingView. To add all of these indicators, guys, you just go here in the top to indicators and you search Powell, for example. There's a lot of Powell multiple indicators. The most used one is the Bitcoin fundamentals, which is also a really good one. And um, I like this one, the top and bottom indicator, because it shows me every time a beautiful color when we are topping out. The moment this indicator is turning red, the blue line is a signal line, and when we go into this red, that is the moment when we start to come close to the top. And then when we see the decline, then the top was in. Every time when we get into these red areas, we are nearing the top, and when we tip out like this, then the top is in. This is a five-day chart, so yes, you have enough time to check out. That green line is indicating the bottom. When we have this green line, that is when the bottom is in. Purple again, topping out, green, bottom. Here another bottom, here again, topping out. There was a very small area, but there was a purple area, there was the top, and here again the bottom. The moment we see that purple, reddish area appearing on this chart again, and that blue line going highly up, that's an indication that the bull market is almost over, that we are almost saw the top, so we are taking profits. We will also dollar cost average out, just like we dollar cost average in near the bottom. We are going to do the same way, the opposite, at the top of this bull market. Two amazing indicators that will help you determine where the top is. And the travel tip for today, guys, is an unusual one, but it's a really cool one. Because wherever you are in the world, if you're bored with your family, you can always do this activity. This activity is called an escape room. We did one a couple of days ago on Jess's birthday. That was our first escape room ever. That's why I'm giving it now as a travel tip, because it was awesome. We did it here in Torre Vieja at the Odyssey escape room. It's a beautiful, beautiful experience. It's like a horror slash thriller escape room. Uh, we didn't expect much. We thought it was a room where you need to solve some puzzles and quizzes and then you know you solve it and you get out. Uh, this is a little bit more than that. You go into a dark room where a dark host is meeting you, where he gives you this assignment in a very horror way and then it, from there it takes you on an adventure through multiple rooms, multiple quizzes, multiple riddles, multiple solutions you need to find. It's like really, really, really cool. So if you're in Torre Vieja, and you didn't do the Odyssey escape room yet, you need to do that, guys. They did send me a very short video clip of uh, what happened inside. I can't share more because then, uh, you know, you know everything, but check this clip. <laughs> yeah, that was Jessa and Roman running for their life. They needed to pick something up in another dark room and then they were in shock. They need to run, run, run. <laughs> they were really afraid. That was like, oh, the whole experience was really cool. Yes, it's a little bit scary. It is scary, but it's really cool. And of course, you know, it's not real, but still everything felt real because the actors and everything is just really top of the notch here in Odyssey. Escape room, guys, go there, have fun as a group. Um, if you're bored anywhere in the world and you don't know what to do anymore and you did all the activities please visit an escape room as a family and uh, solve all those riddles. Then I come to the part where I answer a question. Didi, you have weak hands. That was the remark down below the video because he told me you have weak hands, uh, you have paper hands because you are selling your bitcoins and taking profit. I don't think you really understand what is going on here. And I really don't think that you understand anything about the Bitcoin bull market. So this comment over here, he thinks I have weekends. I have been in this industry since 2013, hodling Bitcoin long time. I do diversify my portfolio. That's exactly what you should be doing as well. So that means, yes, around 30 to 40% of my Bitcoins are long-term storage. Hoddle. I never touch them. They aren't even near me. They are in storage that nobody can even find or see. That's my long-term portfolio already since 2013. I don't think you can say that. The rest I play this game with, the four-year cycle. I will sell my Bitcoins near the top and I will buy back a shitload of Bitcoins near the bottom to multiply my Bitcoins because I don't want to have a single penny on a bank account or any other store of value. For me, the Bitcoin is the king. 
And for you, Bitcoin would be king as well. You would not have money on your bank account. You would be all in Bitcoin. You can't say that from me. I am still all in Bitcoin. Yes, the biggest part I hold for a very, very long term, still balls to go all in and real strong hands and hodling Bitcoin for that long time. But yes, I will do everything that is possible to multiply my Bitcoins because I want to have more Bitcoins each and every cycle. It's a game that you need to learn to play. So the one that commented down below, hopefully you keep watching my videos and be educated how to become financially independent through the gateway to freedom, Bitcoin, the gold of the 21st century. The news for today, guys, is about the spot ETFs. The spot ETFs at the moment, month to date, so that's the beginning of the month till today, accumulated 21,700 Bitcoins. That's three times the amount of Bitcoins that were created in that same period of time. We created around 9,000 Bitcoins. 27,000 Bitcoins were bought by the spot ETFs. That is going to lead into a massive, massive, massive supply shock because those spot ETFs keep buying, keep accumulating. But we can't create more Bitcoins because since the halving, only 450 new Bitcoins come to the market every day. This is going to lead to a supply shock. And we already see the first steps of this by this huge run now already from 60K to 70K. This is going to be insane higher because everyone wants Bitcoin and there is still a shitload of potential that needs to buy Bitcoin. At the moment, the spot ETFs are holding approximately 2.8% of the total amount of Bitcoins that are live, that are out there. Only 2.8%. Do believe me, they want to reach 10%. And to reach 10%, they will be paying a shitload for those Bitcoins because nobody is willing to sell. At least nobody that's watching these videos is willing to sell because you understand that you can sell for way higher prices. Don't let them fool you with all the news, with all the dips and all that stuff. Don't let them freak you out. Zoom out. Instead of crying, start buying these dips because that's exactly what they are doing. While you were doubting during the sideways movement, those first three weeks this month, they bought 21,700 Bitcoins. They are accumulating because they know what's going to happen. Bitcoin is going to go in the massive second leg of the bull market. And that is going to take us above 100,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. Maybe even close to 200,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. And in the far future, 2030-32, we're going to go and see maybe a million dollars per Bitcoin. As Cathy Wood said, she thinks even three million dollars per Bitcoin in the next two bull cycles. So Bitcoin is a long-term pay. It's your pension fund. It's protecting all of your capital against the inflation that's being created by the governments and the central banks. We are fighting those centralized entities like governments and central banks. We don't want them to control the monetary policy. We want to be in control of this decentralized monetary policy that we refer to as Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the king of assets. It's the gold of the 21st century that you can use as a peer-to-peer -peer cash all over the world. We should all collectively be supporting that by withdrawing all the funds, everything, everything from your bank accounts and put it all into Bitcoin. That is how you enrich yourself in freedom, but also enrich yourself in growing your capital, guys. Simple as that. Please understand it. The spot ETFs are buying at this moment, not selling, buying. They understand this cycle. You should start to understand it as well. And the last part of the video, guys, of course, is the inspirational part. The inspirational part today is a very short one, but a very cool one. So we generate fears while we are sitting. We overcome them when we take action. And that's exactly what you should be doing in life. Don't sit and think about everything that could go wrong. To overcome those fears, you just need to take action. Just do it. Fuck it, it can go wrong. What does it matter if it goes wrong? It's not the end of life. It's always three words that you need to remember. Whatever happens in life, those three words are important. Life goes on. So lose all those fears. Don't sit there and think about everything that can go wrong. All those fears that you need to overcome in your mind. Most of those fears are like unbased. 
because you never experienced it before, so you can't even say if you're afraid for it if you don't take action. You should be taking action. You should be doing exactly that thing that you're fearing for because of thoughts. Not because you experienced it before, because of these thoughts that are making you crazy. Because of all those people's opinions and all the news articles and all the television and you think you should be fearing something. If you are sitting there and thinking, ah, shall I buy Bitcoin? I'm afraid because people say it's a scam, because it is like volatile, because it's this. You will only start to find out if you take action. Start to buy Bitcoin. Start to buy Bitcoin and you will find out how it feels. And if you're still very fearful and scary and you don't feel right when you bought Bitcoin, you can always sell them and you go back into your safe fiat currencies that you love. But for me, when it comes to fear, don't sit down in this corner somewhere and start to generate fear because of your thoughts or opinion of other people. Fear should be based on your experience. And if you didn't experience that thing yet that you're fearful for, then you should take action. Take action, go and do that thing. There's also some sayings that always say, every day you should be doing one thing that you're afraid of, as to overcome all those fears and to grow as a person. I think it's a very important life lesson. Don't sit and put all those fears in your head while you can take action. Life is to live life to the fullest, to experience new things, to overcome those fears, to grow as a person. That was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment. What do you think about the charts? What do you think about the tips? What do you think about the life lessons? I wish you an amazing Tuesday and hopefully see you tomorrow on Wednesday again. Bam!